Okay, this is a take two on the, uh, or a second part of the ones that I did the other day, the um, interfacing stamps, which worked really well. But I wanted to see if I could sew on them, because it is cloth, if I could sew and it would come out. So this one, I made a little basket, I cut it into strips, I wove it together, and then I sewed along the edges. Now, I used a different glue, so I don't know if this is going to matter, but I used um, Gorilla Glue, that li clear liquid. So, and I see it's leaving a shiny thing along the edge, so I'm a little worried that that's going to interfere, but I can really, I can go back and cut the, the background right, right to the stamp and, and solve that problem. But for right now, I'm just testing these. I did some flowers. As you can see, I just, simple sewing. I did uh, free action sewing on them. And let's see how they come out. This one just has the one bottom layer and then there's a disc on top where I've done zigzag sewing. This one has two layers, oh, well three layers because it has that little button. It's not a real button, but that little circle in the middle it has the bottom layer, the middle layer, and that circle. The leaf has two layers. This is another one that has the bottom layer and then I put some spikes and then that. And this, like I said, I, I wove the fabric, cut it into strips, wove it, and then sewed it down, and then I glued it onto the background. So let's see how they stamp. As you know, it'll take a couple, couple runs through for them to really make a decent image. But let's see what they do. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to trim all that uh, cardboard away from around the edge to get it to work at all. All right, let's see how this one works. And I didn't put a, handle on the back yet. All right, this is only the first pass through, so it's not gonna be much of anything. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to be much of anything the first time you use them. Let's use a little bit more paint this time. And try all of them. The quicker I get them coated in paint, the quicker they'll be working for me. All right, let's put the basket down. They're all going to fit. I might have to break out my big plate. I'm, I'm interested to see if that weaving really shows up well enough to be worth a while. Maybe on the next one it will. Actually, it's showing up pretty good on this one. Can you see that? where I've wove it and, and all the layers are showing nicely. I don't see that glue making a problem, so let's do it again. Let's see what that sunflower looks like this time, see if we can fit it on here. But as you can see, the sewing isn't showing up as well as I thought it would, but we really have to wait until we do a few of them before we can see whether it... I'm going to press it down really hard this time. Well, I can get it mostly on there. <coughs> And like I said before, last time we did this, they show up better every time you do it. So let's do this on a regular paper and see. See what it looks like. Yeah, I'm hoping my audio is better. I got a lapel mic. I hope it helps. 
All right. Now, you know, I am seeing the sewing lines in places. Okay, it's showing up. See, remember where on the, where's the sunflower? On the sunflower where I did that check pattern in the middle sewing, you can see it a little. I, we'll do a few more pulls and see. On the, this one, you can see it on the outer edge because that's the only sewing part on this where I did the weaving. But you can actually see in the sewn lines where I did around the rim and through the handle. So yeah, it does show up. Let's do another one of those. I wish I had to get the colors out before I started, but I didn't. So I'm just grabbing what I got here. Yeah, as far as the sewing goes, I don't know. I'll have to keep testing that. Maybe if you sew through more layers, like, like it was quilted, maybe if it had been more layers, where there's only one layer, I don't think it shows as much. Let's do the basket again. This will be, what, its third pass through? curious to see if these plain flowers, you can see the, let's just use regular papers. It's warm in here for a morning, I'll tell you. It's supposed to start getting a little bit cooler, well, cooler, for down to 91 tomorrow, I think. It's supposed to get up to 95 today, so I won't be out here in the afternoon working. And see how the stamps get better and better every time you use them. Look at that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can see the stitching. Can you see the middle of that one? Hopefully you can, right there. Not so much on the leaf. But this one, you can see the lines where I came down through the petals. And the basket is showing up nice. That really is working out fine. We'll do one more of the sunflower and see if I can get that to show up. Maybe do the basket again to get it as crisp for the next printing as I can. I am really impressed. Oh, I used to use this stuff, um, well I used it for, it's actually what you use for paper when you do clay printing which is why I have an entire bolt of it. And I was, the other day I saw it sitting there and I thought, you know, I used to use that for my collagraphs all the time. I never tried sewing when I did collagraphs. I just glued everything down, but I saw it sitting there and thought, you know what? If it works on collagraphs, it should work as a stamp. I never used it as a stamp, not in this sense anyways. But I really think it works nicely. Let's see if I can fit that in there. Try and get as many as I can because the more they've been stamped, the more paint on their surface, the better they stamp the next time. That's the theory, anyways. That's what I've been noticing. Let's see how this comes out. And I hope you try this. It's fun. It's so easy because you can cut it with scissors. I mean, it's not uh, anything that's hard to cut. And it's easy to mark. You can draw on it to do your design. It takes pencil marks really well. So... Okay, that sunflower is starting to come out much better. Look at that. I'm, I'm just worried about the pattern in the middle. I'm really not worried. I didn't put enough paint on there to get all the petals. But as you can see, they're, they're coming out crisper and crisper every time you use them. Well, that's all I wanted to show you today that you can actually, I brought it up in the last video. Can you sew on this? 
And will it show up? And yes, it will. It's subtle, but it gives another dimension to your design. And, and really, with that sunflower, it's not that subtle. But it really gives your design another dimension. And I hope you try this, because it's, it's really easy. It's, the stuff I use is called Pellon, P-E-L-L-O-N, I think. And you can get it at the sewing. Uh, they actually have iron-on, so you actually could do the layers by cutting them out and ironing them. I just don't want to, I don't want to deal with a hot iron if I don't have to. I mean, it's summer in Texas. I, anything that adds heat, I don't want to do it. Um, but they glue on easily with Elmer's glue, but you do have to leave them 24 hours and you have to make sure you had a good saturation of glue or they're not going to stick. Um, they obviously glued really well with the, uh, the liquid Gorilla Glue. I like that. I'm probably going to keep using that because I don't like to have to re-glue glue them. And one of the other ones that I made, uh, one of, oh, this one here, that top um, little second layer, the top of the cactus kept popping off on me and it, oh, it drove me crazy. But yeah, liquid Gorilla Glue works fine, but Elmer's Glue works if that's what you got it. I think I got the school glue and not the heavy duty Elmer's glue that I usually use and that's why that was popping off. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, if you don't know how to make these, you can uh, look at the video before this one and it will show you how I made them and how I marked them and how I cut them. So thank you very much. Please like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. There will be more. Um, I have another way to make uh, stamps. I'm doing uh, corners and frames and I, that will probably be my next video up because I've already started working on that. So thank you very much and you have a nice day.